Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Conan by Monolith Season 3, Episode 2. Uh, we're playing In the Heart of Darkness with uh, Conan, Bellet, and Shivitas versus Skulthus. Uh, it's turn 2, and we'll do a quick recap of turn 1, and then we'll get right on into the turn. So, uh, last turn, the Dark Demon... Uh, and the Bessonian guards activated. They, uh, uh, Dark Demon and Conan traded some blows. Shivitas snuck off to the to the right here, and he opened a chest and retrieved a life potion. Billet and her two guards climbed the rubble up to the tower on the on the left hand side, and they took out one of those. Uh, Crossbowmen. We're playing with these crossbowmen, ex you know, expansion set. I guess it's just uh, some extra characters. Uh, it's not in the sc scenario book, but I thought I'd make it a little tougher for the heroes. So they're in rotation. Uh, they're a little bit tougher. They roll a red die, so this could be uh, some damage for uh, our our players. Now we're also playing with the solo rules. So let's let's uh, let's jump into turn two. So first off, let's clear some uh, gems across. So uh, we can clear these. Okay, and then um, we will uh, clear this guy off the board. So let's get into it. So I think Conan will still continue to fight with the, um, the Dark Demon. So we will uh, give him two dies to for combat he also has his die for the sword so maybe he can maybe he will vanquish him in this move uh, book of skelos also we're going to move some gems back okay so now um, uh, Shivitas he's not able to fight this uh, outer dark demon because it's not activated but what he'll do is he'll get line of sight with this archer and maybe he'll try to use his throwing knives which he can throw into this next space so he's only one space away from him so I believe he can use his throwing knives across a space so or he can move out into the open and cross a space so let's well let's just give him a move and, a, and an attack so Shivitas gets a move and an attack and then he will also get the throwing knives attack so uh that's that for him. And then Bilit will go and move. Um, I believe there's no wall here. So I think she'll just move in and check this chest. So we'll also give her a hand here. And he's not activated yet. So let's let's assume that. So they're moving one, two, three. She's in the room with them, with, the, with Kestrel Kell as a statue. Right? He's sort of just statuesque here. And we'll have her have a hand at the uh, chest. Maybe can pick up an exploding uh, bomb or something like that. And then from the AI deck, I believe we should we should just guess what what's picked up. But we will look, and it is card uh, two, which are the hyenas. Okay, so basically the hyenas are activating. So let's move them across. Move them up to six. And the hyenas now will activate. They have a movement of five. But they're going to just run on Conan. So one, one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Now he's in some, some trouble here. So Conan versus all of them. But again, remember, Conan has that sweeping blow, so hopefully some of the splash damage from the uh, Dark Demon, he can land it across the, uh, the hyenas. Shivitas will, will target this crossbowman, and uh, Bellet in the guards will target the chest. So uh, let's jump right into the melee. So we'll start out with Conan. He gets the two dice for his... Um, gems and then he'll get an additional dice to throw for Conan's sword so 
so he gets an additional attack there, correct? Right. Okay. So again, we get a five. So if he targets the dark demon, he can land two damage, which I think he'll do. He'll just take the the three armor is absorbed and he does two damage. So I think that's what he'll go with. No splash damage, unfortunately. And I don't think I'll add a, a re-roll in there. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I don't want to have uh, Conan half dead. Although Shivitas could quickly jump down and throw him that life potion at any time. So I'm not too worried, but let's just uh, kind of see what happens. So let's resolve the combat here. First off, we'll give the, uh, the Dark Demon his attack, which is pretty heavy. Whoa. Three, four, five, six, seven. That is not good for Conan. So Conan can uh, roll a dodge with the shield and the leather and use the sword as a uh, blocking. So this is the seven for the outer dark demon. We can put it near him here. And then Conan's defense. Okay, so he gets... F he gets... Uh, Three, that means he will take four damage, which seems pretty intense. Uh, let's give him a re-roll of one of those. Let's give him a re-roll here just to see what, what he gets. And it's still the same, three. Okay, so Conan takes three and remains with four damage. So we can move all of these to the damage here. So, not, not looking that, that it's not looking good. Oh, it needs an additional one moved here. So, let's sweep that like that. Okay, uh, so Conan's taking a pretty big hit here. The hyenas are going to be in for another round. So, it might be advantageous of Shivitas to throw Conan that potion of life. But I think Conan's okay. He can last another turn, uh, even if there's an attack. So... So Conan resolved. Let's move on to... Well, I'm worried about Conan here. Wow, it's fun. See, I'm, I'm having fun with this game. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, leave a comment below. And if you like what we're doing here, you can check out our Conan painting videos we've done. Uh, this is season three, so there are, there are two other seasons of gameplay. Uh, we use the source book solo rules in the, uh, in the clutches of the Picts. And we use this solo deck first time around in Hunting the Tigress. So you can check those games out as well. And uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Uh, so we're trying to build the channel and the community here. So you guys are the viewers that I'm playing for. So hopefully uh, you're enjoying this. Uh, by the way, I didn't move this to, see, to turn two. We are on turn two now, just seeing that there. So let's move on to Billet Will roll her die to see if she can open the chest and she opens the chest and reveals uh, a javelin which is kind of interesting she already has her ornamental spear but now she has an additional javelin the javelin does do a red uh red damage so she can toss that um maybe at one of these bow archers next time so chest, second chest is removed, and that's pretty good. That's an extra uh, spear that she can use for a range attack. Maybe she will go after the Bostonian archers with that on their way to uh, Skulthus. And we have to re retain some kind of power by the end because uh, if, if we activate any of these other heroes, we're in big trouble. So uh, lastly, let's have Shivitas. He's confident for Conan. He will roll the one die for his attack, plus the one die for his throwing knives. So he gets the two die attack, and he will throw the knives at this uh, crossbowman. Try to even the odds a bit. Crossbowman takes two damage, 
Uh, okay, so we'll just mark the crossbowmen with two, with just one one gem remaining here. So just put that right there. So he only has one hit point left out of his three. Still alive though, but that help that will help out because if he activates soon, um, he will be able to fire down at Conan, uh, potentially weakening him. So this is kind of a a fire trap here because you've got the cro crossbowmen and the archers. Uh, anybody down on the ground is in trouble and even anybody on the wall is in trouble here so um, okay so that looks like we've got everyone covered here uh, all the players have taken a turn the uh, overlord players have gone with dark demon and the hyenas and that is going to wrap up turn two we can uh, move our gems down to the fatigue and uh, we'll do the recovery on turn three. So I'll just advance to turn three so I can remember when I come back. And thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next turn. You can check out the video in the link somewhere here. Also gonna go down to the description and check out our uh, other content, check out our bookstore. And like I mentioned, visit the other podcast. We're, we've got a lot of great content over there too. Thanks a lot for watching and talk to you soon. Bye.